Is donating plasma worth it in 2024? Now, I reported on this last year, but I have new numbers. I'll tell you some higher numbers. You're going to want to hear that. I have a new provider to consider and new considerations, especially if you're considering traditional gig apps. So firstly, who qualifies to donate plasma? So these general eligibility requirements, this from the US Department of Health and Human Services, you should be at least 18 years of age or older, weigh at least 110 pounds, pass a medical exam and complete an extensive medical screening, including testing negative for hepatitis and HIV. You must have not gotten tattoo or piercing within the last four months and follow a recommended diet. So you're going to be donating plasma, but what is plasma? How's it distinguished from just donating whole blood? This from plasmahero.org. Whole blood is different than plasma as it, quote, involves collecting just one component of whole blood and returning the other three to the donor. Now let's talk about what to expect when donating plasma and then potential providers and how much you might earn. Make sure to check with your local center as they may take walk-ins, but might strongly prefer pre-scheduled appointments. When it comes to the screening and donation process, one provider, BioLife says, arrive for your appointments where you will answer routine personal and health questions, have your vitals, temperature, pulse, and blood pressure measured, and receive a brief physical exam. After we prepare the plasma collection machine with a new sterile collection kit, we connect you to the machine and complete the plasma donation process. Now, generally, Generally, this is going to take anywhere from one to two hours. Now, if you want more information on the actual process, safety procedures, potential side effects, although minimal, any other FAQs, I am not a medical expert. This is not medical advice. A lot of these websites and providers have a lot of great walkthroughs and other FAQs, frequently asked questions for you on their sites. Now, let's get into the providers and how much money you could expect by donating plasma. In no particular order, we have BioLife, we have CSL, we have the Griffles Network, Work, which includes Biomat USA, Talcris Plasma Resources, IBBI or Interstate Blood Bank Inc. and Plasma Care, and our last provider, Octopharma Plasma. First, let's look at BioLife. I'm going to show you their general payouts, the payouts after I entered my info here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I'll get you some other city options as well. Now, generally with BioLife, I saw you can earn up to $800. Now, of course, it says offer based on center location. So I entered my info here for Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, zip code 15222. And then I got, you can earn up to $700 on eight donations. So it says eight donations. Just know there are some mandates when it comes to frequency of how often you can donate. When it comes to the terms here in Pittsburgh, it says donation fees will be paid in the following order. $80 for your first donation, $100 for your second donation, respectively, then $80, $80, $85, $90, $90, and $95 respectively. Continuing initial donation must be completed by June 2nd, 2024. Of course, with respect to the time of filming this video and subsequent donations within 30 days. Again, kind of a month promo there. They also have a $50 referral buddy bonus if you bring someone in and that is $50 after completing their second donation in this case. So BioLife up to $800 in Pittsburgh, it told me up to $700 on seven donations. Other examples, Columbus, Ohio, up to $800. Lemon Grove in the San Diego area, California, $700. Birmingham, Alabama, $700. Baltimore, Maryland, $700. And Orlando, Florida, as another example, up to $650. Now, our next provider is CSL. On their website, generally, again, it says receive up to $700 on your first month. So already a little bit lower than BioLife here. But I saw this form. It says find out how much new donors in your area receive for your first visit. So I entered in my info here. It says Thanks, Mike. As a new donor, you can receive up to $100 for your first donation at a CSL Plasma Center in your zip code. Now, remember, the first payout on the kind of batched grouping bonus of BioLife was $80. So up to $700 in your first month as a new donor with CSL. And by the way, that's $700. That is actually up $200 from $500 last year. Of course, it's going to vary by center. So I recommend checking out these providers' websites. Enter your zip code code to your city to see how much you can earn. But it seems like CSL could be paying more from last year. Thirdly, we have the Griffles Network. Now, I checked each provider with 
in the Griffles network. So let's start first with Biomat USA. So for Biomat USA here in Pittsburgh, I saw up to $200 for your first two donations. So kind of like CSL, think of that $100, or we should say up to $100 on your first donation, and then $100 on your second. And actually that was both locations in my area. Next, we'll look at Talcris Plasma Resources. Same thing here, up to $200 for your first two donations. Now I didn't find any in the Pittsburgh area, but I did reference Canton, Ohio in this case. Next, looking at IBBI, your Interstate Blood Bank Inc. Now this one, it says contact the site for more information. But I'd imagine what I'm seeing here, just everything under the Griffles network possibly would pay the same incentives. But again, you can check. That's because your last provider under the Griffles network, Plasma Care, also up to $200 on your first two donations, this time referencing Cleveland, Ohio. And then our fourth and new provider for you to consider is Octopharma Plasma. With 150 plus locations in the US, let's see what you could earn with this provider. So I entered my zip code here. We can see a map of Pennsylvania, nothing in the Pittsburgh area, but there are three providers in Pennsylvania. Going to the Octopharma homepage, their earnings tab for info, looking at my state providers, I could not find a specific or even general breakdown though of the pay, but they say you can earn hundreds during your first 35 days. Most every provider that I research as well has some kind of incentive program. It's an app, it's a sliding scale for donations because obviously, you know, after you do your first month, you're not going to be a new donor. You're not going to qualify for any new donor incentives anymore. And lastly, for Octopharma Plasma, there's a $50 referral incentive as well. Simply on a time commitment basis, that's pretty good, like hourly pay if you think about it, compared to other gig apps, $100 or at least $50 an hour. And thinking about other traditional gig apps, a lot of them that require your personal vehicle, rideshare, delivery packages, even grocery, like driving to the grocery store to do shops and stuff, you don't have to put any wear and tear or additional miles in your vehicle, obviously just driving to the donation center. Or let's say you're a one car household and one person is gonna use the car on traditional gig apps. You can in essence double dip. Your partner or whatever can use the car, do the gig apps for two hours. They can drop you off at the donation center where you also earn money, then they can just pick you up. But then there is the consideration of, well, I just have to sit in that chair for an hour or two. Granted, it doesn't look like super uncomfortable or anything, but I just got to sit there. I'm going to be limited to what I can do. I can be on my phone and stuff, but like, am I going to be allowed to like type on a computer or can I bring my laptop? Can I do work there? And then of course, there's the medical aspect. If you don't like needles, probably not the best side hustle or money-making opportunity for you. So overall verdict, is this a good side hustle? opportunity for you. Well, the first thing I think about, number one, it's obviously just the simple fact that you're helping patients. And it's a lot different, I think, that impact than food delivery, than ride share, which is still very important, transporting people in your city, et cetera. But BioLife says healthy people have to donate plasma to make these therapies because plasma can't be made in a lab. So it's a helpful, certainly, side hustle helping patients with therapies. You're making, I'll say, pretty good money here. It's consistent as well. There's no variability as like food delivery on a Tuesday at 11 a.m. It's not as busy. It's more flexible in certain ways, right? Because we know Thursday to Sunday on rideshare food delivery, that's the busiest time. And typically during dinner rush as well. But if you're only free Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays at like 10 a.m., it might not be busy on, let's say, food delivery. This could be a great side hustle for you. So what do you think? The pay, the effort, the time, but no real vehicle, no passengers and all that. It's predictable. It can be scheduled. You have donor incentives. You're helping patients. So what do you think? This year, 2024 and beyond, is donating plasma worth it?